This is your High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program, covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. The Victor Valley College Lady Rams basketball team is in the forefront among VVC programs when it comes to winning the recruiting wars for their 2021-2022 season. Coach Troy Hall has a trio of returning sophomores, a half dozen newly recruited sophomores, and another six freshmen working out this day at the Lady Rams summer class. The purpose of this video is to introduce our viewers to these 2021-2022 Lady Rams. <laughs> oh, well, you're talking to Ikea Lacey. Now, this is your sophomore year at BBC? Yeah, yeah. What do you bring to the table? Well, I bring to the table, you know, my attitude, my hard work, my defense, my rebounds, you know, my uh, steals, my... I love, I love taking charges, so I love doing that. So, yeah, I want to bring what I can to the table. A great deal of experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For insight into personalities, some players are asked if you were trying out for the Olympics, in what sport would you compete? Okay, uh, maybe gymnastic. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Every championship team needs an IKEA Lacy, and BBC has the real deal. Thank you. Thank you. Who am I talking to? Valentina Lamone. Welcome back, sophomore season Thanks. of BBC. Val, tell me, what do you bring to the table? My outside shooting. <laughs> but more than that, experience? Uh, yeah, from being here last season, kind of know the pace of the game now. One of the older ones. What is rule one if you want to earn playing time for Coach Troy Hall? Work hard. Uh, I'm Veronica Reed. I'm a sophomore at Victor Valley College, and I attended Victor Valley High School all four years. What the? I bring court vision. Um, I also bring leadership, maturity. Hustle, but yeah, mainly mainly uh, leadership this year. I'm bringing a lot of leadership this year. If this was at a softball team, what position would you play? Mm, I would probably play pitcher. Like they lead the team a lot. They're like the ones who control the tempo too. They're the game is mainly on them most of the time. So. The biggest recruit and arguably most bashful. Jordan Brett. Where'd you play high school ball? Oak Hills High School. We hear what Jordan Brooks brings to the team in her own words on our next installment of interviews with the upcoming season's Lady Rams, including hearing how we can tell Victor Valley High School All-Desert Sky League co-MVP Gary Antone Bradley from her sister. I'm a little meaner. She nice. She like, she always super nice. This meet and greet session with Victor Valley College Lady Rams is served up by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville. The Community Table Restaurant supports the teams, athletes, and sports programs throughout the Victor Valley. The Holiday Inn, favored destination for travelers and visitors to the Victor Valley. Victor Valley College Lady Rams basketball coach Troy Hall has 15 players working out at this summer class session, including some of the top recruits from High Desert High Schools. 2020 Victor Valley Lady Jackrabbits Gary Antone Bradley was Desert Sky League co-most valuable player her senior season. You are talking to Gary Antone Bradley. Gary Antone, this will be your freshman season at VVC. What do you bring to the table? What are your strengths? I think I got a lot of leadership, and I'm aggressive, and I got um, a lot of drive, so I plan on bringing that to VBC this year. If you were trying out for the Olympics, what sport would you try out for? Definitely basketball. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Basketball. Okay, let's say it's sprints. Are you a distance runner or are you a sprinter? Uh, distant. Uh, no, I'm sprinter. Sprinter. <laughs> Definitely sprinter. Okay, what about a football team? If you were trying out for a football team, what position would you play? Shoot, whoever tackling. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm aggressive, so. Jordan Brooks comes in to bolster the front line. She is 6'3". She played at Oak Hills under coach Kelly Hennessy. How does she intend to make her presence felt at VVC? I'm hoping to bring my defense my blocks hopefully yeah. and offense I've been getting better at my shooting so 
and my my uh, physical game. So hopefully I can bring that. Big presence in the yes. post. I'd like to ask this question. I don't know if you want to answer it or not, but if this was a football team mm -hmm. and you were trying out, what position did you play? Mm, <laughs> probably the person who throws the ball, the quarterback. All right, you yeah. got you. All right. Jordan Brooks might have to compete with Jasmine Phillips for that quarterback position. Who am I talking to now? Jasmine Phillips. I'm a freshman at BBC and I play basketball at Victor Valley High School. What do you bring to the table, Jasmine? I'm going to bring strength, energy, and defense. If this were the Olympic tryouts, Jasmine, what sport would you be trying out for other than basketball? Track. What are you, a distance runner or a sprinter? A sprinter. Well, what about football? If this was a football tryout, what position would you be playing? Quarterback or wide receiver. You betcha. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks for catching up with me. This Granite Hills graduate strengthens the Lady Rams <laughs> front court. <laughs> I'm Kayla Katie, and I'm playing at Victor Valley College. This is my sophomore year. What do you bring to the table? What are your strengths? What do you like most about playing basketball? <laughs> Being a team player, um, I plan on bringing my strengths to the table, working very hard on defense, and just becoming a team player. If you were trying out for the Olympics, <laughs> what sports would you try out for? Um, well, what sports have you participated in in the past? Was basketball? Just basketball. Okay. Yeah, just basketball. Okay. But, uh, well, let, let's put it this way, because uh, I know you've watched Granite Hills football, if yes. this was a football trial, what position would you play? For sure, wide receiver. All right. See, that's good. That's perfect. That <laughs> Another significant addition to the front line, Sydney Green, a 2020 Serrano Lady Diamondback. I mean, I like everything about it, but I feel best I bring the teams that I'm aggressive and I'm talkative, so I feel like I can help with defense and all that. Right. If these were Olympic tryouts, what sport would you try out for? <laughs> I would say like discus or shot put, right. darling. Good for, you. Good for you. Make that presence felt. Hi, my name is Lorraine Fisher, and I went to Temesco Canyon High School. What year is this for you at Victor Valley College? It, this will be my freshman year. What do you bring to the table? What are your strengths? Well, I could bring good defense. I can bring my energy to the table because I have really good energy. So, yeah. Tell me this, if this was an Olympics team tryout, what sport would you be trying out for? <laughs> Track. All right, so, so you got some speed track, yeah. uh, hurdles or uh, sprints or distance run? Relay. Okay, good. You know, well, that requires teamwork. Yeah. It requires another installment of interviews with Lady Rams to meet other newcomers, including the former San Andreas League Player of the Year, Antania Watkins, who led the state in scoring when a Lady Hawk at Arroyo Valley. Bid fast and last, sold on showcasing this meet and greet session with Victor Valley College Lady Rams. Did you know Bid Fast and Last is a federally licensed firearms dealer and a licensed, bonded, and insured auto dealer? You can bid virtual live online on firearms, vehicles, electric bicycles, collectibles, fine jewelry, coins, antiques, classic cars, and more at bidfastandlast.com. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road. Bid fast and last, sold on supporting High Desert Sports. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Griner Buick GMC in Victorville. Griner always has the best damn used cars, period. The Bradco Companies support the student athletes, teams, and sports programs at Victor Valley College, Barstow College, and the schools throughout our Mojave River Valley. Iwanzik Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs. 
Terry Kurtz here, inviting you to join us on Terry Kurtz Online, the half-hour report on high desert and Mojave River Valley events and activities, entertainment, and history. It shows three times daily at 7.30 and 11.30 mornings and 4.30 in the afternoon, right here on Victor Valley TV, immediately following your high desert sports report. It's the most informative and entertaining half hour of high desert television today. The Bradco Companies present This Date in High Desert and Mojave River Valley Sports History. The Bradco Companies support the student athletes, teams, and sports programs at Victor Valley College, Barstow College, and the schools throughout our Mojave River Valley. Laying it on the line, trying to grab a line. This is very high risk. Legendary Bigfoot gets nasty. Extreme bikes get extremely high, while down it's downright dirty. Local truck driver Brad Graybill wins Flatbed Division Safe Driving Competition in 2015. This report is on a Victorville truck driver who is the best at his craft. Winning state wag competition in his company's home state of Nebraska, it is Brad Graybill of whom we speak. Brad is a veteran of 37 and a half years behind the wheel, driving 18 wheelers, running heavy equipment, hauling freight. He has driven for Werner Enterprises since 2008. In 2013, Brad Graybill placed third in Nebraska's flatbed truck driving competition. This year, he won the Nebraska Flatbed Championship, qualifying for the Nationals. What are the factors that are essential? Is it skill? Is it experience? Is it the truck? Is it a combination of all three? Or is one far more important than the other? It's pretty much a combination of all three. Uh, you have to be a very skillful driver on the course out there to compete against top competitors that you, know, uh, you have at the state level. Drivers undergo a written examination, personal interview, pre-trip inspection test, and finally, the skills test. Is there one part of the flatbed competition that you know is going to be most challenging? No, it's, it's changes from uh, competition to competition. And one of my toughest ones uh, that I have to, you know, that I do is what they call a right steer tire five and dime. And what that is, is they set these plates up that are marked with a 10 and a 5 on it in an arc and you have to bring your right steer tire around that arc and hit each one of those plates to get a score. Uh, left side's easy for me but right side is one of the toughest ones to do. As you travel across the nation as a truck driver are there comments that you'd like to have the everyday motorist here from a truck driver's viewpoint saying, you know, this is what uh, I wish everybody did or this is what we notice is, is most <clears throat> beneficial in terms of you as a truck driver but the driving uh, public in general. Oh uh, yeah, one thing that I would really like to stress to the motorist out there is um, this vehicle I have behind me, when we're fully loaded we weigh right at close to 80,000 pounds and at 55 miles an hour going down the highway and a car goes and pulls over in front of you and tries to lock the brakes up it takes us almost a football field and a half to come to a safe complete stop and that's without locking the brakes up or putting the tractor trailer completely out of control so I would like to have the motorists out there think twice when they go to cut off a truck like that Looking back in high desert Mojave River Valley sports and entertainment history, any competition poses a risk, but none higher than stunt pilot Greg Taft's disciplined precision. My performance is uh, themed disciplined precision. Discipline from uh, over 20 years as an Air Force fighter pilot, and then precision gain from uh, competitive aerobatics. And so I try to kind of uh, meld together the competitive aerobatic side, so uh, very precise lines and angles, point rolls, those types of things, along with uh, the discipline gained from uh, a military aviation career, and then add in some of the air show stuff, some of the things that are a little bit different, uh, Lumpschabach, you know, tumble in the airplane, a double hammerhead, uh, and try to do some of the things that are um, the forte of the pits of a biplane.
the biplane has some attributes that uh, make it better to do certain maneuvers than, for example, some of the monoplanes. So that's kind of what I'll shoot for today to, uh, and most importantly, entertain the crowd and do something that's safe and have fun. This little appendage here is a sighting device, and we use this uh, to try to fly very accurate uh, lines and angles. So, for example, if I want to fly perfectly vertical straight line, I pull up and I superimpose the horizon on this uh, line here, and now I'm perfectly vertical. If I want to fly a perfect 45 degree climb, I can set the horizon on this line. And if I want to fly a perfect 45 degree inverted line, I can use this line. So it's a, it's a way to, to help us fly very accurate angles. And then this is a backup airspeed indicator. Obviously when I'm going fast, it's sitting back here, but there are times when I'm uh, coming all the way to a stop and I'll see some slack in the string, and you'll see times when it's going the other way. Well. Again, you don't have to use it, but it just makes things as a quick check to look over, take a look at it, and then know where you are very accurately in relation to the horizon. Valu Quality Truck Bodies rolls out these high-performance flashbacks to this date in high desert Mojave River Valley sports history. Valu Quality Truck Body, family-owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Valu Quality Truck Bodies. Looking back in high desert Mojave River Valley sports and entertainment history, this video sports flashback takes us back to 2014 when Jason Vargas was pitching for the Seattle Mariners, the High Desert Yardbirds' longest game of 2018 and Defensive Player of the Year are on Cancer Awareness Night. This flashback takes us back to 2014, a Mavericks roundup when Jason Vargas was pitching for the Seattle Mariners. The segment includes an interview with Mariners catching coach Dan Wilson, who praises Jason Vargas's pitching style. I've had a chance to talk with some of the pitchers here. One of the things we talk about a lot is, is really the, the, the goal of pitching is, is location and changing speeds. And when I look at a guy like Jason Vargas, I used him as an example earlier today, actually, with a lot of these young pitchers, is he's a guy who's really perfected changing speeds and having some good location. And, and uh, you, you know a guy like Jason doesn't get there without working hard and um, trying to perfect his craft. But, but he's done that. I mean, he, he, he can locate his fastball on both sides of the plate. He's, he's, he's very good about changing speeds. Uses a little bit of a cutter to, to stay inside on the right-handers. I mean, he's, he's, he's figured out how to do it. And, and, uh, uh, I've had a chance a, a couple of times uh, to do some TV and radio uh, during Jason's uh, uh, outings and uh, it's, it's just really fun for me being a former catcher to watch him because uh, he's really uh, has learned how to do it and how to do it very successfully. Saturday night, July 14th, is Cancer Awareness Night. Again this Saturday night, 7th Annual Cancer Awareness Night, where the players are going to be wearing these special jerseys out on the field. And you can bid on them up on the concourse Saturday night to take these jerseys right off the players' back. High Desert Yardbirds fans who come out to support Cancer Awareness Night are in for the longest Atalanto Stadium game of the year and are treated to some truly exciting baseball, including the Yardbirds' most outstanding defensive play of the season in what becomes a classic encounter between Pecos League Pacific Division contenders. The Yardbirds and California City Whiptails go at it for 12 innings. Adolfo Espinosa takes the mound for High Desert. Yardbirds players in their brilliant purple standing against cancer jerseys, which are auctioned off in the course of the contest. Tenth start of the season for the 2012 Oak Hills All-CIF Pitcher of the Year and 2014 All-Conference Pitcher at Victor Valley College. Adolfo Espinosa will endure a torturous second inning, suffering a severe lack of defensive support. California City scores seven in the second, all seven runs unearned. A 2018 Pecos League All-Star, Adolfo Espinosa will reestablish his command and control of the game, striking out three and shutting out the whiptails in innings three, four, and five. 
all runs scored against him unearned. Adolfo Espinosa exits, maintaining a 2.74 earned run average, lowest among Yardbirds starters and third lowest among all Pecos League starting pitchers. Aaron Cook with the first of his three base hits on the night. Aaron Cook drives the OM2 pitch through the right side of the infield. Jake Marshall scoring from third. First scoring step in high desert, battling its way back into this contest. This game evolves into pitchers' duels. The next seven innings, a battle of the bullpens as Jordan Norton comes on in the sixth for the Yardbirds. Tenth appearance for the all-star pitcher and only the second out of the bullpen. The Yardbirds get this defensive play from third baseman Steve Longo, knocking down the hard-hit grounder and throwing out gentle giant Peter Pena out at the plate. High Desert Defensive Play of the Year. Right fielder Jason Johnson Wilcoxon makes the major league caliber throw to the plate to nail a tagging up Whiptail's base runner. Jake Marshall applying the tag for the inning ending double play that denies California City a go ahead run in the ninth. Shane Brown comes within inches of ending it all with a walk-off home run in the 11th. The deep drive bounces off the top of the wall and back into play. The stand-up double somewhat symbolic of how close the Yardbirds come this night to emerging victorious. High Desert out hits the Whiptails 17 hits to 8 but fall a half game and back of California City in this showdown for second place in the Pacific Division. High Desert returns home Tuesday, July 17th against the Pacific Division leading Bakersfield Train Robbers. Flashing back to headline makers years past in High Desert, Mojave River Valley history, served up and delivered by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville. The Holiday Inn, favorite destination for travelers and visitors to the Victor Valley. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road. Sell, 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 sell. Bid fast and last, sold on supporting High Desert Sports. The Bradco Companies, supporting all of the teams and sports programs throughout the Mojave River Valley. Iwan Zach Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs. This date in high desert sports and entertainment history is served up and delivered by Down Home Grill. On this date in high desert sports history, the honor roll of former high desert players who become major league all-stars adds Barstow's Aaron Sanchez in 2015, 2013 Hesperia grad Travis Holm comes up big on this date, 2018 for the High Desert Yardbirds. Former Oak Hills Bulldog Tommy Anderson delivers what skipper Sean McNeil believes is baseball's biggest hit in this 2019 Yardbirds win. A 2010 graduate of Barstow has become the second High Desert player to become a Major League Baseball All-Star. Former Aztec and current Toronto Blue Jays pitcher Aaron Sanchez was named to the American League All-Star team. The Blue Jays starter has been enjoying a breakout season for Toronto. He is 9-1 and, and sports a 297 earned run average in 18 starts, 103 strikeouts in 111 innings pitched. Aaron Sanchez, who turned 24 the 1st of July, was named to replace injured Craig Cambrell of the Red Sox. Sanchez was drafted out of Barstow High School by the Blue Jays in 2010. The first Major League Baseball All-Star to graduate from a high desert high school was Jason Thompson, a 1972 Apple Valley Sun Devils graduate. Jason Thompson became a three-time All-Star first baseman, 1977 and 1978 with the Detroit Tigers, and 1982 with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Fellow former Sun Devil Jason Vargas became this area's third Major League All-Star when selected to the American League squad in 2017 when pitching for the Kansas City Royals. 
Oh, thank heaven on 7-Eleven for number 11, Travis Holm, coming through with his best performance as a Yardbird. The former Hesperia Scorpion throws a complete game victory, putting the Yardbirds back in the win column this July 11th night in Atalanto. Travis Holm personifies pitching to contact, shutting out Monterey through the first six innings, inducing ground ball double plays in three of the first four frames. Travis Holm goes on to limit the Amberjacks to two runs runs and becoming the first high desert pitcher this year to register a complete game nine inning triumph. Travis Holm, who pitched at Antelope Valley College upon leaving Hesperia, was in total command. He did not walk a hitter. And I'm a, I'm a contact guy, so, you know, get some contact. I found the zone very effectively. Uh, usually my fastball is, is on. The 2013 Hesperia team captain also contributes at the plate, registering a pair of base hits, including this clutch two-out, two-strike, run-producing single in the fourths. The first six runs the Yardbirds score come with two outs in the inning. Travis Holm replicates, coming through at the plate. This two-out single sends Steve Longo across with Yardbirds run number six. The final score, High Desert 8, Monterey 2. First game out of the All-Star break. The Yardbirds rip Tucson 9-2. High Desert maintains its five-game lead in the Pecos League Pacific Division standing. Tommy Anderson follows Danny Kerr's two-run double with his opposite field drive to the deepest part of right center field. Danny Kerr and Oscar Larinaga scoring Yardbirds runs three and four as twice in the first inning High Desert hitters deliver on what skipper Sean McNeil believes are the biggest, most important base hits in baseball. I would say there actually had two come to mind. Two out hits, obviously, but the 0-2 hit, or 0-2 um, count where you get a hit. Tommy Anderson's well, triple comes on a two-strike count with two outs. The former All-CIF Oak Hills Bulldog tells how he wound up at Doan University in Nebraska, where he set school records for doubles. So after Oak Hills, I went to Doan University in Nebraska. I actually went there for a year, hit 380. Came back to junior college in Santa Ana. Uh, was hoping to go to Long Beach State. Had a bad year, so I went back to my college in Nebraska. Ended up finishing my college career there, hitting 390 average combined. Tommy Anderson holds Doan University's single season record for doubles. He earned all conference honors in 2017. He hit 362 for the Yardbirds in 2019. The Bradco Companies present sports headline makers on this date in High Desert and Mojave River Valley history. The Bradco Companies salute the accomplishments of area athletes past and present and support the teams, athletes, schools, and colleges and sports programs throughout our Mojave River Valley and High Desert. Terry Kurtz here, inviting you to join us on Terry Kurtz Online, the half-hour report on high desert and Huffy River Valley events and activities, entertainment and history. It shows three times daily at 7.30 and 11.30 mornings and 4.30 in the afternoon, right here on Victor Valley TV, immediately following your high desert sports report. It's the most informative and entertaining half-hour of high desert television today. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road. Bid fast and last, sold on supporting High Desert Sports. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Griner Buick GMC in Victorville. Griner always has the best damn used cars, period. The Bradco Companies support the student athletes, teams, and sports programs at Victor Valley College, Barstow College, and the schools throughout our Mojave River Valley. Iwanzik Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. 
and by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs. This is your High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program, covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. Thank you for watching.